keep this. What? No way, dude. What the fuck? Man, this is insane. Okay. He's playing an angel version, huh? Okay, interesting. All right, chat, two damage secured. Pretty incredible block from our opponent here. Pretty incredible block. Mono white mirror in the start of cat. I cannot believe this, guys. It's absolute insane. Complete insanity. Can't play Legion's Land in here, huh? Because I can't swing with three. Okay. <clears throat> so what if I swing with everything? If he kills the 1-1 one -one speaker, that will be two life, right? Two, four. We're actually going to be one life off making an angel here, huh? Wait, we, I mean, guys, we actually got cucked in this game by our temple garden. Really interesting. We lose a 4-4 here because of our Temple Garden. Pass, I guess. I don't know how good Thalia is going to be here. Maybe we just take the Linden. <clears throat> I'll say this is even not completely awful. But I think I'm supposed to take the one of Linden here.
I think, did I take the bishop? <clears throat> I mean, the, the angel doesn't actually do anything without its, like, support and cast, right? It, it doesn't do shit. I think I take the bishop. Not saving the speaker, no. I'm ahead on board, so his his uh, his bishop is more important to him than my speaker is to me right now. Okay, that was a good turn. That was that was a good turn. <clears throat> Very cool. Very fucking cool, guys. Okay, so this card seems pretty useful. Baffling End. Smile. <clears throat> One off sale, by the way. Coming in hot. I'm surprised the opponent hasn't already conceded the match to go and add Coco to his deck. Honestly, a little bit shocked. <clears throat> what about authority, guys? <laughs> I mean, um, authority is kind of tempting. But I don't, I, it doesn't impact the game by itself though, sadly. We might need night for opponent cages, yeah. Oh man, it's not easy to sideboard. It's not easy. I think I think I will play the knights. I I mean, cause it is at least gonna have some baffling ends anyway, right? Let's try this. He may, have, he may have back sauce, he's probably got baffling ends, um, maybe glass caskets, whatever. Dude, that one four, man. This thing is huge. I'm not happy about how large this creature is. Activated abilities of creatures your opponent control can't be activated. <clears throat> Is that card good? Do I need that in my sideboard or whatever? No. 
not against us. Well, it stops me using my speaker, right? Or or my outside. And it also stops me attacking. <coughs> On to game three. Yeah, we need uh, we need Settle, Coco, or Heliod, I guess, right? Top deck here. It's a Coco. I have the Coco on my turn, though. In case I get a, because I need to find a Heliod, right? I need to find a Heliod, grow my guys, and swing in for some lifelink here. What does this do? Can't cast spells. Okay. <clears throat> so if I hit a Skyclave, I can still, I can still bring it into play, right? No Heliod, sadly, but... I'll be honest, not a terrible turn for us. <clears throat> not the worst turn I've ever had. So are we saving Amiria's call or not? This 2-2 two -two token is kind of cock blocking my, my life game here. I could just swing with everything. And just lose my 1-1. One -one. I, I think I have to save this Amiria's call, because... Obviously the Lyra is a big problem. So do we protect our speaker or not? I don't think so. If I protect the speaker, I cannot protect anything else on his turn. I think, I think it just goes through, guys. <clears throat> Can shock in the call? I think we need to save the call, right? Because I need to be able to... The Slyro will kill me, I think. Birth of Melitus, huh? Hmm. That is a good card. That is a good card. I don't think we can play it though. That's just minus four Coco targets, isn't it? Straight up.
We'll play one call as a land here. <clears throat> so now, top deck land is a good draw, and top deck non-land is a good draw. So that seems good. Ha! <laughs> nice cards! One has Castle here. I mean, he can he can block two two onto one apparition, and then Castle plus Soul Warden onto another one, and we'll only be able to protect one apparition. But I think that's okay. <coughs> Where's Heliod? Don't have Heliod yet, man. We also cocoed earlier in this game, so... There is four cards at the bottom of our deck here. Two of our removal spells are at the bottom, sadly. <clears throat> this does seem like a spot where a castle would be nice. That's a good one. That is a good one. <clears throat> where's Laris? I don't know, man. Where's Heliod, dude? Where's Night of Autumn? Do, 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 do. I get Legion's like uh, Landon is also a good draw, huh? So if he double blocks again an apparition, seems fine for us, right? He gets a two a four four back here. Four four is not a big problem for us right now. <clears throat> I'll pump now. No, I'm I'm just I'm definitely pumping this boy here. 
I guess I could pump the 4-4-1 apparition to a 3-3 three -three here. Just seems pointless though. One more trigger, huh? It might be worth it though. <clears throat> I think it is worth it. Back to 22. Nice Lyra, boy! <laughs> nice Lyra. What a meme card. Please don't play a Janny. Please don't play a Janny. Holy shit. So, destroy wall or gain life? Gain life seems good, right? <clears throat> Although, destroying wall does let me get in for more and lets me kind of uh, turn this speaker off a bit faster. So I could gain 4 plus 2 from the Daxos here. Puts us to 23. Don't think that's relevant, man. I think I'll destroy the wall. <clears throat> One of Linden, by the way. Seems these. So he's incentivized. The only way he can kill my speaker is to give up his speaker. And that, that's a deal I'll take. Okay. Seems good. Yeah, 
He actually is on exactly 29, right? So if he if he plays a Jani and swings with both of these, he gets to 35. Which is kind of annoying. But this was his last turn to top deck a Jani if he's playing it. Binding. Okay. Binding Andrew coming through. I attack. I mean, we're definitely participating in a game of Magic the Gathering. That's for sure. It seems like it was an intelligent idea to bring in our, our Knight of Autumns, huh? That was very smart of us. Alright. Settle the wreckage, huh? <clears throat> Settle the wreckage, huh? Oh, man. Not like this. There's no way, guys. There's no way. Twelve attackers. Twelve attackers. In response, I create a token. <laughs> Guys, imagine Ma this was Magic the Gathering all the time. Would this be the greatest game in the world? Possibly. That was a fun game. Well, chat, I really enjoyed my experience there. That was good. Fun detected! Fun detected! This magic player enjoyed his game of magic. Shut it down! Shut it down! I'll be honest guys, the green splash for Coco was quite useful. In that game, quite useful. 